Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am about to do your weekly reading for October 9th through October 15th. This is intended to be a general love reading. It's for hundreds and thousands of people so it may or may not resonate with you and bits and pieces may resonate and not the other part so that's the way it goes. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you that you saw in the middle. So when it stuff falls out, I'm going to go ahead and let them fall out. And they are going to fall out. Um, I have started a Facebook Live Feeds group. It is Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds where people with gifts can go and share free reading readings. And I have been doing so daily. So if you want to be considered for a free reading, go there, join, and, you know, you might get picked. Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds, the link will be underneath. This is for the sign of Capricorn. When I was shuffling the blue deck, one of the cards fell out. I did put it back in. It was the Six of Cups, reminiscing about the past. So some of you may be reminiscing about the past during this week. Thinking about your childhood. Um, wow. We do have you right here, Capricorn. Oh, there's definitely some love in the picture. Okay, there is. And there's family. And there's a couple here. So there's like, if you're with somebody right now, this person is probably uh, connected to you soulfully. It could, you guys it could be the one, alright? You're definitely, you know, have a deep connection with the person you're with if you're with somebody right now. The basis of your reading is the King of Wands, that is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So this could be a person in your life who's very prominent this week, or it could be an energy that you're taking on, remaining very, very focused calm, and confident. Okay, because that so that could be an energy of your week is focus and confidence and um, working on your career, really focusing on your job or focusing on your um, finances this week. Let me just make sure this is zoomed in correctly. Um, yeah, so we do have a couple here, just so you know. So if you're with somebody right now, this per you are probably with the right one. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And there could be some jealousy in your life I'm not sure with who but there could be it could be a, a Libra Gemini or Aquarius but somebody that um, is there could be some uh, it could be a child it could be a child that is get is causing a little bit of strife okay in your life right now or somebody you know a friend somebody younger who's kind of young who might be causing a little bit of strife maybe on a relationship maybe in the family could be a brother could be a sister but it looks like somebody could be causing a little bit of strife in your life um, we do have that there's a lot of uh, care here a lot of love and care between you and another another person I think that there could be some romance this week if there's been any bickering or any problems you may you may decide that it's time to start over and start fresh um, we do have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Now this is a man or a woman. Um, and it is connected to this to this devil and this other queen. So you some of you could have a choice between two people. A Taurus and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which is an earth sign or a water sign. So you might have a choice between two people. Um, and the other one would be um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you guys, you know, you could have choices, and you may be um, making a choice, all right, or thinking about it, or maybe you're with one of them, and you're, and that's your partner, but you're thinking about the other one. Maybe you're thinking about this person from your past, even though you're with somebody else. Maybe you're attached. Maybe this is a commitment, a marriage. You know what I mean? And you're thinking about somebody from your past. That could definitely be it because the Six of Cups fell out. You you know, you may have um, some sexual attraction, more of a sexual attraction to the other one because we have this Ace of Wands. Um, 
we do have a completion up here with the Ten of Cups, something to do with your family. So you either your home, your family life, life, something like that. Any strife that you have could have ended and things could be coming together very nicely right now. Things could be calming down. Some of you could be getting out of a relationship. I have to tell you that. This could even be like a, a split, okay? It's a couple, but it could be a split because we have this nine of pentacles next to it. So there could this could be somebody who decides that they just want to be on their own, that they can take care of stuff on their own. So that could be the case. We do have good luck right around the corner, all right? But we do, I mean, that's after this ending. Like I said, bits and pieces may or may not resonate with you. For some somebody that's watching this reading, they may be leaving a situation. They may be thinking about leaving a situation where they, atta they are attached to somebody because they, they really love somebody else maybe from their past and they they really feel like the current relationship they're in is over with dead there's no more feelings left okay because we have the ten of swords and this is feelings so they may be feeling like that so they may be leaving the situation they may decide to do it quickly hastily okay because they have these desires and they have these urges okay so they may just decide you know this may be you or it may be the other person one of you might decide abruptly that you know what I, it's, it's time for me to go you know because of you're looking for more excitement all right we do also have the empress down here this is a birth or a rebirth okay so you know somebody could be pregnant somebody could be you guys could be talking about getting pregnant or there could be a birth of a child or it could be a complete renewal of your soul you know soul searching a complete renewal of yourself okay so this is the outcome where there's a rebirth all right so if some of you are letting something go that is no there's no longer any connection to you know there's no longer any feelings to you know if you're letting something go just know that there is a rebirth in the future this is the outcome all right um, and that good luck is on the way it is time to start a new chapter okay so um, starting over is pretty prominent here and it's going to take confidence and courage to do that. And that's why that King of Pentacles is in the middle. That's the basis of your reading. All right. Hmm. I think a lot of you are ha have an attraction or a feelings for somebody from your past. Many of you. All right. And some of you are, are committed to somebody else already that you're fully committed to. So you're, you know, that's an issue. And some of you are happily committed, all right? And it's a very happy, comfortable home life. So this is for, uh, some is, some of it's for you and some of it's for the other person, okay? Because some of you are happily committed and um, things are going very, very well and you could end up, you know, getting pregnant. There's new excitement here. So there's new, there's something new and there's definitely a, a birth or a rebirth, Okay, could be a rebirth of a relationship. All right, we do have um, all the signs here, so it could be any sign. Something is over, something is over that you can no longer ignore. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords twice. There's been some kind of uh, disappointment. There's been some kind of loss, and you can't ignore it. And it takes confidence and courage to move forward, to start new. And I think many of you are starting over, starting fresh. It could be with the current partner you're with, or you could be leaving altogether to start over with somebody else. This could be somebody from your past. But I see uh, many of you are ending a situation where there was no more feelings. Okay, and you're doing it with courage and confidence, and you're having faith. You're taking a leap. You're taking a risk, and not knowing what's going to happen. It's like you're taking, you're, you're, you're accepting a dare, a dare to follow your own path, a dare to listen to your own to it, your intuition, your own guidance. That's what it's like. Okay. 
And I don't see you changing your mind. I see you taking baby steps in that direction. All right. And I said earlier, somebody might decide all of a sudden, but here we have baby steps. Okay, but making a plan to do it. But we have three pages. So I think you're receiving all kinds of messages, probably from all kinds of people, because there's lots of people here. A lot of people are butting their nose in, and you're worried about what they're going to say, and people are butting their nose in, and it's a problem, you know? So I think that... It's definitely going to take confidence and courage for you to follow your own path and to listen to yourself. And it is like a dare to do that, okay? But this is saying that there's a good chance. This dares you to do something great. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune here. That means, that means good luck is on its way. If you accept the dare, which, you know, that's this is a dare. If you accept it, there looks like there could be success and good luck and good fortune. This is when the wheel finally spins. It looks like something is over where there just was no more feeling left. Okay? And now it's time to broaden your horizons. Okay? And release the fear. Because right here we have the fool as well. You have to release the fear and, and fly into the unknown. Which is like the scariest thing ever. But I think that you, or a lot of you, are accepting the dare, okay? With courage and confidence. This is the King of Wands. That, with, that's the basis of your reading. That you are daring yourself. It's like, I will be great. I will be. I think you have an exciting new, new start here. something that you're very passionate about but it's after a completion something is ending and it could have something to do with your relationship because we have the ten of cups up there could be strife in your relationship or it could be the relationship altogether a lot of you are reminiscing about the past that six of cups fell out when I was shuffling these cards earlier the fork is in the road. We'll get back to that. The Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, victory, success, like I told you when I pointed to this a minute ago. Anyway, Two of Wands or Two of Fire, you've come into your own new partnerships or contract. Yeah, I think that a lot of you are letting somebody go in for somebody else. Or, you know, you just want a new partnership and so you're just going to let the past go. New partnerships or contracts, continue to move forward. I see you're doing that. Don't baby steps, but maybe you need to take adult steps now. Just saying. Night of water. Falling in love because that's what it is. Falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions. Okay, this is emotional love. Support. Alright, maybe you're offering it to somebody or somebody's offering it to you. Then we have the Six of Wands. Victory. Good news is on its way. This is victory for you. It is. It's a victory. It's success. Release the fear and start fresh. This is a dare. Dares you to be great and follow your heart. Knight of Cups twice, follow your heart. There will be a victory if you do. It takes confidence and courage to follow your heart. Talk to you later, Capricorn.